Okay, so this is the how-to guide on creating a Google Meet for parent teacher conferences. Um, I have my how-to guide up here. I also have the Normal West Virtual Parent Teacher Conferences document. Um, some of your schools might have this document, some of them do not. I also have the Google Calendar as well um, set up here too. <clears throat> so first step that I'm going to do is I'm going to create a Google Calendar event and I'm going to go down here to more options. And I'm going to go ahead and put Hofferman's Parent Teacher conference, Conferences. I'm going to mark the date for January 22nd and I'm going to go all day. Next up, I'm going to click on Add Google Meet and I'm going to go to the settings and I want to click off quick access. By doing so, every person that wants to get into this Google Meet will have to ask permission uh, to get in. Next up, I want to hit view conference details. And as you can see, I have the join with Google Meet. I have my meeting ID. I also have join by uh, phone. So there's a phone number with a pin. So what I want to do next is I want to go ahead and right click on the Google Meet. I want to copy the link address. So now I'm going to go to my document for the Normal West Virtual Parent Teacher Conferences. I'm going to locate my name and as you can see it says Mr. Hoffman's link. I highlight my name and then I'm going to go here to the hyperlink button. I click inside the link and I'm going to hit paste it by hitting control V and I apply. So now you can see that my name is hyperlinked. So when a parent will go to this document, they'll be able to just click on my name and then go to my Google Meet and join. Next up, I want to add the phone number and PIN. So I'm going to highlight the PIN and the phone number, and I'm gonna hit Control C for copy. Go back to the Normal West Virtual Parent Teacher Conference document. I'm going to hit enter and now I'm going to paste it in by hitting control V. And as you can see, it put the phone number there and also the pin. My email address is just below, just in case a parent needs to email me uh, if they're having some technical difficulties. So now the parents can join using the Google Meet link and they can also uh, join if they don't have a computer by calling this number and putting the pin number. And in both cases, you'll see that uh, they will need to ask permission to join your Google Meet, and then you can either admit them uh, or deny them in. Okay, so we just finished the how-to guide on creating one Google Meet uh, so that anybody who wants to get into the Google Meet, they need to ask permission. We're going to show you now uh, what it looks like from uh, a teacher's uh, perspective on um, a parent joining via a computer or uh, through the phone number. So Amber's going to be joining here shortly and you're going to see a message pop up asking, uh, she's going to be asking for permission to admit in. As you can see, it's at, it's saying that someone wants to join this call, Amber O'Day. I can deny or I can admit. So I've admitted Amber into the Google Meet. So this is uh, representing the first parent teacher conference. Uh, so we would have our parent teacher conference uh, for 10 to 15 minutes. It's getting close to the end and you might have another parent uh, ask to uh, join because it's close to their parent teacher conference time. So Jason's now going to dial in uh, the phone number and the pin. And as you can see, uh, it has his phone number listed here and I can admit or deny him. 
If by accident a parent comes in during the wrong time, you can admit them and then you can ask them to leave or you can remove them from the meeting. So I'll admit Jason and Amber would leave the meeting or I could also remove her by pressing on this button. So Amber is going to be leaving the meeting. I'll actually remove her. And so now Jason and I would start our uh, second parent teacher conference uh, via the phone.